Hello and welcome to another episode of Whisker Fight TV. I'm your host Jez, and here is what we got for you guys today. So we are day. We're not doing a day. We are doing a whiskey. I see. I'm in the. I'm in the whole mindset of uh, doing whiskey uh, tastings on certain days, but we are doing a whiskey Wednesday tasting of a delicious Australian. I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard it's good. Australian whiskey called Ned's. <laughs> um, so this idea behind this Ned's Australian whiskey was uh, discovered in a bar in Melbourne where the blokes behind it were, you know, just wanted to come up with a whiskey that really represented Australia and, you know, they're calling it the... Australian people's whiskey. Uh, it's come from Campbellfield, Victoria. Um, the thing that's interested me the most about this is the way they, I guess, mash the grain. So they're saying it's a single malt uh, Australian whiskey. Another child. And yeah, she's going to make a hole. Good girl. Um, it's a single malt Australian whiskey, but it's made with a sour mash, and then it's run through charcoal the same way they use the Tennessee distilling method. It has a technical name, but I don't remember what it is. Um, so like similar way they make Jack Daniels and then bottle it by hand and then batch the... Uh, uh, no, it's your yeah, hand bottles and then they put the, the number on the bottle. So I have bottle 17,123. Well, that's not, that's just a random serial number. Who knows at this point? Um, but it's... Are you right? Can I do this for once without you making noise unless I let you out? You're a special one. Um, yeah, it's 40%, so 22 standard drinks, but 700 mils for Australian standards. So I want to I wanna hook in, because it's about 60 bucks at the moment. Um, I know Booze Bud have it for 60. Um, so I've actually seen this floating around for a while, um, but they basically just made it for us dark spirit drinkers. So, you know, here we go. Oh, on the nose, like it's not what you'd find with a typical Australian whiskey, which is always nice. It's more of like a, I want to say coconutty kind of vibe on the nose, which is interesting. Very, uh, very soft. Not um, none of those harsh tones you'd find. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the oak is coming through there, but it's still got some of that harshness there. So uh, they use a uh, second fill or first fill American oak, and then they uh, finish it in a charred American oak. And then they move it to like some European oak for blending. So, but yeah, it's it's really just coconutty on the nose, and then going through, and it kind of finishes off as a, a normal whiskey. But I want to say that. Oh, it's got a medium to long finish on it. A little bit of oak, but you're, um, so a little bit of vanilla there, but you're still getting that, that heavy oakiness from the charring and, and everything else. Um, since it, it's 40%, I'm, I'm finding it, it very weak for, um, 
my standards, but being an Australian whiskey and, and seeing what else they've, they've got it up against, I'd probably grab... See, it's hard because I, like, uh, I like what Starwood's putting out. I guess it, it's different strokes for different blokes. Um, <laughs> are you good? <laughs> um, all in all, yeah, I don't mind it. Like, it's a definitely a $60 bottle, so... Um, but yeah, hey, you guys, let me know what you think. Um, I was I was told not to expect the wall, but I don't mind it. Uh, you know, you could throw it in a cocktail, like throw it in a Manhattan or old fashioned something like that, and I feel like it'd perform well because of the the oakiness in it. But if you just want to drink it with Coke as well, I'm sure you'd be able to mix that up or Solo if you're that way inclined. If you haven't tried it, give it a whirl. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments. Um, if you guys aren't following me, I am doing a Whiskey Wednesday every day. Not really every day, but it has been every day for the past 50 something days. So who knows? So this would really just be day 50 something, 51 maybe. I don't know. You guys will work it out. You're pretty switched on a bunch. Um, but yeah, that's me done. Thank you guys for watching. I love every single one of you. Stay thirsty, Australia. Why is it?